Hi hello this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see what are the features introduced in 2107 of configuration manager so that is the latest version of configuration manager and i have a video about uh, the upgrade process of um, 2107 Okay, so in this video we are going to see uh, the features, right? A uh, quick walk through of features. So let's let's go to the first one. Okay, so this is my uh, one of one of my favorite one. So you know the collection query and WQL WQL query and all. And if you if you click on edit query statement, right? Uh, you can see something new. Okay. So if I click on this and if I if I go to criteria and if I go to show query language this is really interesting right you can see the color combination uh, similar to SQL studio right um, so that is that is very useful okay um, I'm I'm liking it uh, I'm loving it right and uh, you can see uh, an op code editor option right open in code editor so this is code editor is integrated with uh, SSM or configuration manager 2107 version onwards right so this is very very useful right code editor is very useful I think I'm I'm not a coder but even even for the troubleshooting of sql queries and um, all the other queries right uh, powershell java uh, vb script batch file j script uh, kql kql is basically cmp wet kind of a query right um, wql is xml Uh, this is this is very useful right it is going to go along with all the workflows uh, within scm or configuration manager and you have lot of options over here okay so that is the first uh, feature i want to introduce in 2107 version of configuration manager okay the second feature i am going to introduce to you uh, within 2107 version of configuration manager is pretty interesting and i think it is going to be useful uh, for configuration manager admins right so microsoft added a new column into collections and devices right for example if you go to is and right click on the column and see that, that there is option for maintenance window right so maintenance window is a new option and you can see which are the collections that has a maintenance window right so for me uh, in this environment i have only one collection that has maintenance window okay let's quickly look into the other feature right which i want to introduce to you the third one okay so if you go to the devices node and if you go to the collections um you can see an option to view collections from here itself right you can either right click and click on view collection or you can get go to this option or you can have this option from a ribbon menu right so once you click on that it will automatically take you to the okay i think there are some errors Now let's look into the fourth feature I am going to introduce with 2107 version of configuration manager. Okay, if I if you go to software library and if you go to operate operating system or any other things like boot image uh, operating system upgrade packages operating system images etc. Right, uh, you will get an option. a uh, to to search something specific right that is um, all subfolders right and so all subfolders option is kind of added in this version of configuration manager 
okay so that is pretty useful if you are having lot of sub folders and if you want to search particular boot image or operating system upgrade package or operating system images right okay so let's check the fifth feature i am going to introduce um, with 2107 version of configuration manager right so if you go to management insights and if you go to software updates uh, you can see there's a new option configure software update points to use tls ssl right so that is basically saying uh, you need to have https communication okay and i am using a uh, non https or basic http communication for software update point right or sup that is why it is asking me to fix that issue and i can go to more more details and i can see review, review actions etc right so it will take me uh, take me to uh, the the um, the site settings configurations where i can change the configuration from um http to https right that is one of the recommendation microsoft um, released a few few months back i think okay so apart from this there are lot of other improvements or new features got introduced in 192107 version of configuration manager okay so some of them are basically related to cmp wide etc right if you click on others and if you click on cmp wide option you can see some new entities got introduced into the cmp wide right something like registry keys etc reg key if i search with reg keys right so microsoft also introduced uh, something called custom properties for devices right uh, to support i itil kind of uh, systems and add um, some values like a physical location organizational priority category course center department or something like that right so i think this would be useful for some uh, big organization um re related requirements and for probably service now kind of a integration scenarios right and microsoft uh, introduced um uh, some security features also like uh, in terms of client encryption etc right when you enable um use encryption option from site properties right um now the client will use uh, aes 256 algorithm to encrypt that communication like uh, the communication where my um, the client will send the inventory data and state messages of to the management point so that that data will be encrypted with aes 256 algorithm right that's that's good stuff and microsoft uh, kind of introduced um esttp support for software sender as well as for the company portal right that's also a good thing okay um other one is quick one is basically third party uh, software update catalog right so uh, i'm the i'm the first one um created a blog to list down all the catalog details right into into a blog post now i i see microsoft introduced a more catalog tab into the ribbon so that they can redirect those re those queries related to third party free catalog or supported third party catalog details um it will redirect to the microsoft documentation and uh, you can read the information catalog information um from from there itself right adobe dell um 
so basically i have introduced it um initially and i think um this is uh, this is microsoft um uh, getting more official a list of catalogs right that's that's really good some other things cos cosmetic kind of changes microsoft introduced is basically um related to the core management right so now if you go to cloud services and if you if you check the cloud attached right there's no core management option over here uh, it's changed to cloud attach right and and you can also see configure cloud attaches the option in the ribbon now it was configure co management before right so those those are the things uh, got changed and there are some other things also got changed uh, related to cos- cosmetic changes right um uh, something in, in the support tools etc um that has also kind of changed uh, with the 2107 version of configuration manager i think that was a quick overview of new features uh thank you for watching see you next time until then bye bye